Hey YouTube, how's it going? So in Call of Duty at the moment, there's this Games of Summer challenge, and what you get for it is a growl blueprint, and you've got to do five uh, separate challenges and get a certain uh, time or score in those challenges. And if you do that in all of them, you get the growl blueprint. And I found some of these really hard. So, but I actually did it. I managed somehow, I don't know. But so I thought I would just make a quick video as quick as I can trying to explain some of the tricks that I employed to actually get through these challenges because it wasn't full on just playing really well to get them. It was a lot of, uh, in every single one, there was actually some trick or order or thing to do to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go through the challenges one by one and I'm, I'm not going to like run through them and pass in this video, but I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so anyway, let's jump right in and do it. So this is the games of summer thing, five challenges. This is the reward. Ba boom. Nice looking little growl. So the first one is a parkour challenge. So you got to run through the map uh, at a certain speed without touching the ground. This course is about speed and mobility. Move to each target as fast as you can without touching the ground. You will be timed, so make it sharp. So the very first thing is, I thought that the timer started when the doors open, but it hasn't actually started until you land on this very first point. So you can run over here and jump and then go up here, but you're mantling as you climb over this. So it's actually quicker if you jump on this hay bale, then up onto the, the truck here, and then you can jump onto this and then straight across to that and then to the next one, then up here. Because if you go this way, it's just a bit kind of awkward. So here you can go up and to the next one and then to this one. And so we're off to a good start now. And then we just... This is kind of the only way through it. Up here, this part you can actually make this. Yep. And then right here, I put in one slide cancel here, and then jump onto this little bit. This is the hardest bit right here. Um, so you can actually land on this here and then jump straight across, but that's really hard. So I tend to land here and then jump here and then mantle this. That right there is possibly the hardest bit in the whole course. And then this jump here. Yep. Ooh. This is also kind of tricky. You gotta not jump. Just kind of like fall onto that bit. And then over here. And then over here. This is also pretty tricky. But then. Bam. So if I didn't choke that one bit, I probably would have beat my record to be honest. What does that sound? Um, so that's the kind of the path that the main trick is that bit at the beginning for this one. Uh, otherwise, just practice, practice, practice. You'll get better as you go and you'll get kind of more used to the bits um, to jump on as you go through it. And so let's jump quickly onto the gun course. This one I personally found to be quite a bit harder. Um, but there is a one huge trick that makes it a lot or two to the tricks. Gun course, soldier. Here so the, the guns I used was the Amex is my primary and the, not the Fennec. The Phoenix ADS is really slow here so I used the Striker which ADS is a bit quicker. So you see I got 30 bullets and 25 bullets. Now the biggest trick here is to change um, oh my mouse doesn't show up. To change the um, fire rate to from automatic to semi-automatic. That way you'll be more precise and you'll never accidentally do a two fire burst and you'll be able to reload less throughout the course. I think you should only be able to re you should only have to reload once because um, you do one weapon swap and one reload and that should get you through the course. So you you change that by putting uh, hitting left on the D-pad for controller and I think it's B uh, for keyboard and mouse players. So I'm going to change both of these guns to the single fire setting. Oh, this one doesn't have one. Never mind. So I'm just going to be very careful not to let more than one bullet go. And I'm going to start with the AMAX with the 30 bullets. As I run, as I sprint out the gate, I'm going to wait till that first person crosses. And you should be able to get collaterals here. So I accidentally fired twice there. I'm going to melee this one. And I'm going to hit collateral. I could hit that as a collat. I've accidentally wasted two bullets here, so I'm kind of down. Um, 
that could also be Palat. And you can't afford to hit any civilians because you lose points for um, time on civilians. So you have to hit one shot per per, uh, per target, as many Collats as you can. And keep going. And this one's kind of tricky. You gotta hit both of these. I'm really screwing up here. That wasn't very clean. I think I should have switched weapons a lot sooner. Oh, it's one second off, I think. That's pretty good. Because Pretty I didn't hit any um, civilians. Ah, oh, look, I was one second off gold. It was just that one melee in the thing. I should have switched weapons before I went into that room. Um, so I think the lesson is don't reload at all. Just do one weapon swap and don't miss any. You can't miss a single target because you need to get this 100% accuracy boost of minus five seconds. And you have to hit every target and you can't afford to hit any civilian targets. So it basically has to be a perfect run. But don't reload. Use a single shot mode in the guns and just run the course know where the know where the, the enemy targets are and where the civilian targets are and you'll get used to it you'll just kind of know it's this one this one this one line up as many collats as you can so you can afford to miss more bullets if you have to or accidentally do two bursts so that would be those are my tricks for that one and that that kind of path I took and the order of shooting is how I got through the first time but again if you can line up more collaterals then um, all the power to you. Alrighty. Um, oh man, this marksman challenge is probably the hardest one. It was possibly my least enjoyable experience playing any video game ever. So I can say good luck. I'm not going to accomplish this one here. I'm just going to show you. Identify and eliminate each target as efficiently as you can to trigger the next wave. Eliminate all targets. So the goal here is to line up as many collats as you can. A, a collateral, a collat, I mean collaterals, so I hit two targets at once, and I hit two targets at once again, so it's that sort of thing, um, that you have to, you have to line up with, with this mode. So, um, the way I did it was, I did the first two rounds on this side, and then I switched to this side for the second two rounds, and you never... Um, well, you shouldn't ever reload during a round. You get a break in between the rounds, which is just enough time to reload and tee up your next target. And you can't afford to reload during the round. It just takes too long. So, um, yeah, you basically have to hit enough collaterals that you don't have to reload during the round. And I'm going to show you... Whoops, I was supposed to restart that. Um, I'm going to show you where I stood for the first two rounds and then where I moved to for the second two rounds. And it's just hard. You just have to hit the collaterals and those blue moving targets. And they're just pain. So I start here. I mount so I don't have to keep holding my breath. And I tee up this first collat here. And then this one here. And then I hit the blue target. It tries to move out the way. So I've won this round. First round done in perfect time. Hit the reload, and then this is the collat I line up. That very first one there. I can actually hit a triple collat on that one with the foreground target, and then you come in for this one, bang, and then you. Oh man, I hate these blue ones so much. And so then I move over to this side, and I get ready. There's a triple collat. Oh, I should have hit that. There's that double. I usually go for the blue ones first because if I waste too much time on them, I might as well just restart the round. Um, and you gotta hit these guys as a collat. I don't know how that wasn't one. And see, I've reloaded. It's chalked. I might as well start it again. But I'm not gonna spend too much time in this round because it's pain. So I'm just gonna sit here. There's a triple collat you can hit right there. I don't know how that wasn't it. So that one, or there's this triple collat. But, I mean, it's just kind of luck, almost. It's not luck, it's timing, but... And this blue guy is probably the hardest one to hit in the whole thing. But you have to hit the ball, man. You just have to. See, I've chalked it. I missed one... One shot. Oh, that's so painful. Did I almost do it, too? No way. Fine shooting. No, I think it was 35. Here. So that was the order I did it in, and obviously you don't... Wait, did I do it? Final score of 4,000. 
Did I just do it? No way. Huh. Well, here we go. I'm not sure if I actually did it. Final score, 4,000 gold is that, but it says I just got gone, uh, silver. I don't know. But anyway, that's the, that's the order. That's the collaterals I lined up. And uh, it was just pain. Uh, I didn't really enjoy doing that one. But on to the next. Uh, yes. Okay. So. <laughs> what to say here. Let's let Price say his bit. Hit all targets as fast as you can while avoiding civilian oh, casualties. Price. My bad. You'll be judged on speed and accuracy. So. I almost did this in the first. first um, but I did, and then I actually switched to keyboard and mouse. I don't play keyboard and mouse ever except for accidentally. Um, but it was all right stick. I just stood in in place and just right stick aimed at the targets. And on keyboard and mouse, that's easy. On controller, so if you have access to keyboard and mouse, just <laughs> this challenge will be easy for you. If you're on controller, I'd say combine right and left stick aiming. And what I mean by that is when you aim, you can aim like this with your right stick or you can aim like this with your left stick. And because these targets move left to right, some of them, maybe not that this, this guy, like he, here, you can track him with your left stick. Oh, there, keep going down, come on, man. Let me do a demonstration here. Did I just lose? Must work on your aim. Try okay. again when ready. So you can combine right and left stick aiming, and you you kind of aim. And if you're just off, um, precision takes practice. Try like again. If I Improve flick to score. a target, like okay, good example, like him or him, and I miss, I can, I can. Oh man, I'm just hitting these targets. What am I doing? So if I flick to a target I'm slightly off, I can correct it with the left stick rather than the uh, toggling around the right stick. So that would be my main piece of advice. Advice, And then you can't afford to hit any civilians. I think there's no pattern to this. It's kind of that's tricky when it does that. When you hit a collateral on a civilian. See how I'm moving my body left and right as well? Like I'm helping my aim with my... Uh, left thumbstick and stuff as opposed to just using my right. So I'm kind of half moving with my. Oops. Okay. My aim is kind of cracked. Oh, as I say that, I lose it entirely. It's wasting. Wasting bullets uh, on this thing is obviously a huge problem as well. So that was trash, um, but I didn't accomplish this with a controller. Challenge I used a failed. keyboard and mouse. You will learn, I guarantee it. Uh, and then moving on to the final one. So it was pretty tricky as well. I did this one on controller. Uh, I tried keyboard and mouse. It was much harder because I can't move very well with keyboard and mouse. Because I just to the don't play it. But same trick applies from the beginning. I use the pistol as my secondary and the AK-47 as my primary, again, toggled to single shot mode um, because you have to hit every bullet in this course. If you miss, you get docked points. If you hit 100% accuracy, you get a time bonus or a reduction in your time as a bonus. Um, and you can actually hit over 100% accuracy because there's two collaterals at least that you can line up in, in this course. So you have 30 bullets here and 17 bullets here and there's 40 targets. So technically you can miss uh, seven times but obviously you can't because of the score. But so you hit your first 30 bullet, uh, targets with the AK and then you switch and you do this. No reloading in the entire course and aside from the very beginning you're moving the whole way. So I'm going to jump out here and I'm going to hit the first target on the right and you're going to see the order I did this in. I can't guarantee I'll do it. I wonder if you can cheat. No. <laughs> okay. So again, single fire mode. I'm going to sprint out. I'm going to hit not this guy, but the two targets that pop up here. Bang, bang. And then I'm going to go right to left around like this. And then I'm going to shoot 
this target and the targets around there and I'm going to move around hit the targets on the left and then go around and finish it and that's that's kind of the rotation I do for this so let's see how we go I'm going to jump out I'm going to hit him hit him I've already failed so I missed the bullet I could have lined that up as a collateral but so that one that one and hit these two this one that one so my accuracy is already screwed but there's a collateral there's none there. Uh, you have to kind of just get used to where these are. This guy, a little bit of left and right stick aiming, switch gun. Out. These two here, you gotta hit. You gotta hit every shot. I haven't done this today, which is why I'm missing. Uh, and tab done. <coughs> so you just kind of practice that and refine it, get used to it. And you know where it is so my accuracy was kind of shit um oh you still get some sort of bonus uh so if i didn't miss any shots and i i had a high of, of that and i obviously wasn't wasting time missing shots i would have made it uh so those would be my tips and tricks on how to accomplish this course and just repeat do them over and over again until you accomplish them you'll get better every time you go through it try not to get frustrated with it because the more you get frustrated the worse you'll be the next time you try um but yeah toggling the guns to single shot mode and the the right rotations and the right order to shoot things in was crucial for these challenges and then once you finish it whoops you'll get this A neat looking growl class. I've customized it here a little bit. I made it my panic class in Warzone. So that if I respawn late game, I need full ammo. I've got fully loaded on it. Or even if I just need to pick up Ghost. It's my Ghosted class. And it has fully loaded so it's also kind of like a munitions box. Same with the secondary. If I'm running AR SMG and I've got my, my uh, whatever I'm using the AMAX and the MP5, I just get this class my secondary to get Ghost and I pick up these guns again and I have full ammo again, super easy. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to people that wanted to get this um, blueprint unlocked. Um, good luck, it was challenging for me, I can assure you, um, but yeah, have fun, take care.